Hey, what's going on everyone at home? I'm Lauren Ashley Beck joining you live from the set of The Masked Singer. Let's go talk to some of the panelists and pick their brains about season nine. So for season nine of The Masked Singer, is there anything different that you've noticed about the talent from previous seasons? Same level of talent, I would say, from previous seasons. It's just, I think, more surprises, meaning, oh my God, these people are multi-talented. Like, there's a lot more maybe actors that also can sing brilliantly, which I think initially we attracted more just singers. So now I think it's just like a lot of, you know, triple threat kind of people, which makes me feel more and more untalented with every unmasking. I'm like, what? You can sing too? A little birdie may or may not have told me that there's a group of five. Who do you think that group of five might be? You know, right now, uh, we're feeling like it could be, um, usually sometimes it's a group, but we're thinking more of like a Broadway kind of a group. So, so you know, there's a lot of them out there. There's like, you know, there's Dear Evan, uh, I almost said Dear Evan Asher, my son's name's Evan Asher. Dear Evan Hansen. Um, Hamilton, you know, all those type of uh, great ensembles that could be popping up on our show. I want to talk about your husband being the cludal do. How did you not know? You know, he did a really good job of tricking me because we've obviously we don't lie to each other or anything like that. But anytime I would FaceTime him, he would be on like set. And he's on set doing Blue Blood. So you see, like, you know, what appears to be a Hollywood-type set. I didn't know it was our set. So that's how he would kind of trick me. He'd be like, yeah, I'm on set. And he clearly was. It was just mine. And we saw that genuine shock on your face. Like, for real, for real. I couldn't believe it. You know, sometimes the contestants, when they unmask, are so far away that a lot of times you see us judges go like... So it takes a second. You know what I mean? It's like reading questions on a live feed. You know, you're like, everyone's like staring at... And when the shot, when it came in, I was just, I couldn't believe it. I felt like, I felt like someone was going to rip off the, their Donnie Wahlberg mask because my brain was like, this can't be him. Let's say they brought the golden ear back. Do you think you could get it? Duh. Why do you think it's gone? Ooh, you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, she keeps winning. It's no fun. I'm like, it's a lot of fun. Were there any voices that you heard were right off the bat you were like oh my god you can sing once they were on mass were you like i can't believe that that's you under there um i think i remember more or less people that were really brave that might not have been true singers like i would never be in contest on the show because i can i mouth happy birthday when i sing it to people <laughs> in rooms because my voice is that bad but when i saw like christy brinkley all i know is christy brinkley i was really proud of her so for season nine, what are you looking forward to? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, the, in season eight, they really uh, revamped and rejuvenated the whole franchise with these theme nights. And uh, now we have the ding dong, keep it on bell, which is pretty exciting. So, But uh, besides the uh, amazing costumes and the great performances, I love getting back with my panelists. I love being with Ken and Nicole and, and Jenny and, and, and Nick. So we're very happy to be back together. It's so much fun to watch you guys sort of banter back and forth and have that fun little sibling rivalry thing yes, going on. definitely. Who would you say is like the big older sibling that picks on everyone? Well, that would probably be um, Jenny. Jenny's the toughest. She's the strongest. And she can beat Ken up. So <laughs> I'd say Kenny, uh, Jenny picks on all of us. Are you the dad of the group? Because I know you come up with some good dad jokes. I've got the dad jokes because I have the most kids. Oh, no, I don't. Well, not anymore. That's right. Nick Nick has uh, taken that that uh, crown and ran with it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, no, I, I'm just dad in, in general. But, uh, but you know, Ken is like the uh, the lost child, you know, <laughs> that we're trying to, to fix his schoolwork. <laughs> A lot of people that you've worked with yes. musically, like Lil Wayne, Faith Evans, have been on the show. Yes. Who do you hope to see on the show that you've worked with in the past? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, there's so many people I've worked with. Mary J, of course. I uh, would love to see her on the show. Um, Brandy? <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan. Would love to see Jasmine. Brandy. Yes. Christina Aguilera. Um, Pink. Maya. You know, a lot of good, a lot of great singers out there. Let's get Mark Anthony on the show. What do you think it feels like for these celebrities that may not be used to performing to get up on that stage and sing their hearts out? 
Well, I think it's uh, nerve-wracking, you know, and but it's also kind of exciting because at least you get to hide for a little bit and you get to hide behind these costumes and these masks. And I think uh, that's why it interests some people because they're like, well, maybe I could fool my family or I could fool my husband. He wouldn't even know I was doing it. So there's a lot of fun in the guessing and the mystery of it. If you were a contestant on The Masked Singer, what song would you sing? What song would I sing? Oh, I don't know. Probably some Jodeci. Ooh. <laughs> Take me back to the 90s. Always. Love that. Thank you so much, Robin. This is great. Well, Can't wait to Lord see you season nine. Actually, right? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice Lord. to meet you too. Thank you, Robin. Thank you.